Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are learning uh, NCRT class 6 history chapter 1 that is what, where, how and when. So let us discuss. So when we are, uh, so when we are studying about history, there are few questions came into our minds that what uh, the people in that uh, time means what people living in that time were to what kind of clothes they were wearing or where they were li living or how they were living and how things were at that time how the children played what games they played and when so all these questions came to our mind so let us discuss first first question that is what so what what people ate, what kinds of clothes they wore, uh, we will know about the houses in which they lived and about the li lives of hunters and herders and farmers and rural and merchants and priests, craftspersons, artists, musicians and scientists. So we, we, we can be quite sure about the lives of rurals were different from the lives of farmers. Also, the lives of hunters were different from herders and so on. So, the, so all these things we came to know when we study about history. And also we came to know about the games children played, the stories they heard, plays they saw and the songs they sang so all these things we came to know when we study about the history so the next question when we study about the history came into our mind is where so where they were basically living as we know people were basically when basically people were depend on the resources first is as we know water is a basic resource which is respond which which is which is which is needed for life and another source is you know stones uh, stones stones they were in that time means uh, in the paleolithic time people uh, needed stones for um, making tools and they used to hunt the animals with the help of these tools and they call that um, means where they uh, used to you know make tools and things like that they used to call that place as a factories so we'll uh, we'll we'll discuss these things in next chapters let us focus here so where we found them so on the banks of narmada river you will find that uh, there were skilled gatherers and hunters and also on the suleiman and kithar ranges so at it is the place where they first began to grow crops what were those crops those are wheat and barley and also they started to rearing animals that is saving the animals these animals were sheep goat cattle etc and the first team animal was dog remember this first team animal was dog they lived in villages so next is garo hills which lies in the northeastern region of india and vindhyas where the agriculture was developed then the next is north of vindhyas the rice was grown again these are some of the rivers where the earliest cities flourished like indus and its tributaries some of the earliest cities flourished in 4700 years ago another river was ganga and its tributaries the later cities in 2000 2005 2500 years ago were flourished on the banks of river ganga and to the south of magadha sorry to the south of ganga you will find the kingdom which is known as magadha let us see let us let us have a look at map so here you can see of kithar and suleiman ranges then here in the northeastern side of uh, this map india you will find these garo hills then here you will find vindhyas then here you will find the Narmadas. Here you find the Indus and its tributaries where the earliest cities flourished. Then here, uh, south to the Ganga, this is you can see, this is the Ganga river and, and south to the Ganga, there is a big kingdom which was known as Magadha. So the next is, 
we'll discuss next will next point in the next slide which is uh, how the name to the land was given first is we all know that our countries have two names basically one is india and another is bharat so where did these names came from so the this name india was come from indus which is called sindhu in sanskrit as we know iranians and the greeks came via northwest let us see here in the map this is the northwest side of the india so and here you can find the indus river so these people like iranian and greeks were uh, somewhat not able to pronounce s and they pronounce s as a or t and they pronounce indus uh, they pronounce sindhu as indus indus or hindus and the land to the east of it is known to be as india so as you can see here is the indus river and they called sindhu as indus or indus and the land to the east of this river they called it as india so the another name bharata how it came into force so it is nothing but a group of people who lived in the northwest so it is basically a name of a group of people who lived in the northwest and also this name was also mentioned in rigveda so the next question came into our mind is how how we came to know about the past so these are some things here you can see these are manuscripts inscriptions and archaeology so by studying these things you will come to know about the past so basically what are the manuscripts menu is nothing but the latin word which is me which means hand so usually manuscripts are the scripts which are written by hand so usually they are written on the palm leaf and these palm leaves are cut and tied together or on special prepared bark of a tree this tree is birch tree which found on himalayas so these scripts were in sanskrit or prakrit or in tamil languages and but there was a threat that they were eaten away by insects and many they are not all the manus manuscripts were preserved but yeah some may preserve some manuscripts were preserved in temples and monasteries so here you can see the image of manuscripts some of the older uh, manuscripts here you can see uh, it is the bark of tree where something is written in maybe this language is uh, tamil language and the next is inscription so what do you mean by inscription these are nothing but the writings on relatively hard surfaces that is stone and metal generally these are written by kings uh, about their victories or if they want to give some message to the people they prefer inscriptions for example kandahar afghanistan ashokan inscriptions written in two different scripts and languages and these language were greek and aramaic as you can see here it's an inscription which is written on the rock surface so the next is so what do you mean by scripts or what do you mean by language or what do you mean by archaeology and what do you mean by excavation so let's let's have a look at it script which is consist of letters and signs as you can see here it is written here something is written on this rock surface and you can see here there are some symbols so these are nothing but a script and when we read this script which is written or when we speak that thing is known as language so next is archaeologist so who are them so these are the people who study such objects by excavation so there may questions came into your mind that what is this excavation mean so excavation is nothing but digging out land to find the remains like pots tools weapons ornaments coins bones plant remains etc to learn or to get to know about the past to study basically to study history so the next is and the next and the last question came into our mind is when so when is something related to about dates so what is this bc ce bc ad all these things we we usually use these things in our day to day uh, talks or things like that so what is this bc bc is nothing but before christ so what is this ce 
BCE is nothing but a common era. And what is this BCE? BCE is before common era. And what is this AD? AD is long form is Anna Romani, which means in the year of Lord Chris. That is if you write or say uh, 2017. So what is this 2017? It's nothing but uh, 2017 AD. So in this way, we have come to an end with this chapter. So thank you. If you like my video, uh, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for next videos. Thank you.